what have I given to the blue coat? The whole me, everything. You're looking back at that trajectory of going, God, this is where I started. This is one of the places where I first performed. God, I was charged. I started dancing um, as part of a youth dance group when I was about 13, 14. What I recall and my sense of that time, I was incredibly committed and eager and hungry to learn. It's interesting getting to this place now and then looking back because it is the 300th year of the blue coat and it's my 30th year within my dance practice. What's different about the blue coats, it's not like you just turn up and you do your thing and you disappear. There's always been a greater relationship. It's had a huge influence on my journey through becoming a professional dance artist. I made my own performance work with a group of young people from Broughton Hall School. I performed a solo here, I worked with the youth dance here, and today being based at the Blue Coat with the Liverpool Improvisation Collective, we've run workshops, classes, and I think that whole relationship between being an artist and you know, facilitating a session, they go hand in hand, because the teaching and working with different groups of people really inform and feed what you do as an artist and the same vice versa. All my practice as an artist really fuels how I can bring my ideas into working with people as well. I think the ethos and the philosophy of this place is about dialogue. You enter into that conversation of what the art is, how you can best promote it, facilitate it, feed into it, and even though it's contemporary art centre, it still has its doors open to all walks of life. It's accessible. Mm -hmm.